Let's try to do a ceiling walk. Yeah! Jesus! Oh! What's up guys, it's Alex. Was the Blade Nano QX FPV your first camera drone? Well, in this build, I'm upgrading every part about it and putting it inside of this Parrot Rolling Spider frame. It's time for a drone hacks. Okay, so this Nano QX FPV is gonna be beefed up with Micro Motor Warehouse 82015 motors. It was the 802015 that were just above two amps. All the other eight and a half millimeter motors on their website were overkill for this board. So here we go. We've got the beefed up motors. We've got the beefed up FPV cam. It's the Lumineer Air 200 long range. Of course I took out this flimsy connector and replaced it with the beefier JST. Now my concern is it still has wires that are getting thinner and yet even thinner. So I'm hoping just the connector is enough. That connector is not enough. You need to fix that wire bottlenecking issue. Sometimes the Nano QX will drop out of the sky and blink as if the battery's dead, but it's not. That's the reason. Right, so I also got the beefier battery and bigger blades from Parrot Rolling Spider as well. Oh yeah. yeah, that's actually a cool sound. ASMR for micro droners. Okay, let's test the FPV, the 200 milliwatt. FPV works. Now I'm gonna wait for the Parrot Rolling Spider brain adapter that I ordered and it's gonna be attached to this with rubber bands. Guess what? My pro drone mitt. Let's see what we got. A refurbished Parrot Rolling Spider. Just to have spare parts for the Rolling Spider at a good price. I got a TP-Link wider coverage I'm gonna create my Spectrum DX6 into a long range remote. Got one more that I was waiting for. This is gonna be a 3D printed part, and I ordered two of these. And they fit underneath the frame, attached with the rubber bands that I ordered. In order to fix this strange flying issue, I reversed Micro Motor Warehouse's colors, and I took that opportunity to replace my battery wires with 20 gauge. The red blades held on a little stronger than the white ones, so I replaced them. You need to bind this thing when it's on a flat surface first. That's how Blade Nano QX works. Now I'll put the wheels on, just in case it flies out of place. Awesome, the Nano QX is smooth. I'm gonna get another battery and let's try the FPV cam. So that is exactly why I have the wheels on it because this thing just drops out of the sky randomly sometimes. And you know how rushed motors are, they're very sensitive, they will break. 
if they're tapped more than three times. So the ultimate goal of this long range micro is to go around the corner, down the street, and be able to curve around into the neighbor's driveway and come back home. I was close, but that didn't happen. Okay, so I couldn't make around the corner of that building, but I lost radio connection before I lost video connection. That's a good sign. That means I need to extend the antenna so that this little thing catches it. That'll be the next video. Hey. I gotta go, the neighbors are starting to get a little curious. 